Hey guys, unboxing time. That was a belch. Uh, bonus material for you guys. Enjoy it. Excuse me. Yeah, wasn't raised in a barn. Today we are unboxing the Lewis Crampton SIG deck. This guy is hilarious. Been riding for a long time. Check out his YouTube channel if you want to. He's got a really funny um, unveiling of his deck here, and this isn't going to be that funny. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a cool deck. So let's get in there and check it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's about it on the box. Yeah, you know, it's the Lewis Crampton deck. So if it shows up to your house and it says Chris Ferris on it, you should probably give us a call. I'm not sure the Chris Ferris, because it's really cool. Or the Cameron Ward, or the Cody Donovan. All very cool decks. We're just looking at the Lewis Crampton. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the bottom of the deck. You guys want to see? Boom, here we go. Again, on his video, he talks about his graphic, what went into it, really cool. Uh, that's basically him right there. Uh, he's got some tea because he loves tea and you can tell the color. He likes cream in his tea. He got uh, a note here. Does it say the Dank of England? Uh, he's got some soccer club. I don't know, so I'm not even going to try to say it because I think he'd be insulted if I tried to say which soccer club it was. And I thought he was British, so what's this? <laughs> it's the Sweden flag, right? No. Dude, I'm dumb. <laughs> I wore glasses in this video, so I could pretend to be smart. I'm not. The color of this deck is a very dark blue, almost looking black, and uh, I like it a lot. Anthony Maniconos from The Vault, lovable vault employee. He's riding this deck right now, and so I asked him some feedback on it. He said the head tube angle is a little bit not steep enough for him coming from a TSI. It's 82.5, I believe, but that means it's gonna be whipping faster, and the bars are just gonna sit back a little bit closer to you. So if you're running some T-bars, that'd probably be a really good feeling. He also said with the length of the head tube, before he was running like four headset spacers, now he's running no headset spacer. So if you're running a really short fork tube length, definitely don't run a tall stack headset. Um, and maybe if you're running an Envy fork, you might need to run no headset cap at all, no dust cover. If you have any questions, like you already do have the Envy SOB V3, um, SES fork and you want to make sure it fits, give us a call, shoot us an email, we'll check it out, we'll put it in. I don't have one handy right here on me. Should have grabbed one, but that would be smart. And as we have already established, I am not that. Let's check out the specs a little bit more. For the width of the deck, it is sitting at looking like 5.2, right on that, almost 5.25, but just shy. Uh, but you can see that there's a little bit of an edge right here. So even though the deck itself is over five, where your feet are actually gonna to be touching is just shy of five, like 4.8, I would say. Anthony says he really likes it. And with this edge right here, he said gripping it was one of the easiest grips ever. He just put a score right here on the top side, slid his razor blade across it with parental supervision. Of course, safety is key. Cause he's the one that cut himself in the custom build. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> with the new series of decks, they changed the rails. This rail right here, used to be uh, duplicated right here. So it was two really thin rails on each side of the deck. They've now fattened this one up and Anthony said it's sliding really good. We got some pretty decent nose blunt space here. Caps, not flat at the front. The back has that classic district brake. If you do wanna do a fender or anything, unfortunately, it's gonna require some modification. If you're a novice, you're not really good with power tools, then uh, get mom or dad's help or stick with the brake. Could go brakeless if you want. And the back end is square with nylon right here, then aluminum on the outside. This will actually catch your nut here. So one tool assembly. We said it was 5.2 wide and it is 22 and a quarter long. So this is the biggest district deck on the market right now. And really happy Lewis Crampton got a SIG graphic because man's is a legend. Let's see how much this bad boy weighs. Coming in at just shy of four pounds, three pounds, 15.5 ounces. But again, it's long, it's wide, and seems really strong too. Cool design on the head tube, and with that 82.5 head tube angle, it might be four pounds, just shy of it, but it's gonna be whipping around pretty fast. Go check out his stuff, of course. Check out thevaultproscooters.com and all of our social media. You're already on the YouTube. You need to check out the Instagram and Snapchat too. Thanks guys, see you next time.